when I say that modern dating is just <sighs> infuriating. I feel like the only way for people to get just how sh is out here is for us to be sharing our stories. This man has been hitting on me for three years, if not longer, just swiping up on my story, various things, right? And I am the type of person that unless you say something with your chest, I am not going to pay attention to you. Like, sure, yeah, thank you for the compliment, but otherwise, like, what are you doing here? It's Christmas time. I guess this man is feeling jolly. And uh, Christmas Eve, he swipes up on my story. I tell him thank you. <laughs> and he goes, yeah, um, I asked Santa for your number. I'm hoping he's going to leave it at midnight. I'm going to check in the morning and I'm going to leave out milk and cookies. And I was like, oh three years in and he finally takes the plunge. Oh my God. So he sends me a Snapchat of the inside of his stocking and he's like, oh damn, like Santa didn't leave it. I guess I'll just have to keep asking him for it. And I was just like, Santa is so sneaky. It's been with me this entire time. I gave him my number. This, this is the part that me up. He responds, <laughs> he's like, Awesome. I'll text you sometime this next week and maybe we can go get drinks or some shit. Just a moment of silence. Okay. What makes you look at me and think that I want to get drinks or some Do I look like a drinks or some kind of girl? Like, just be for real and I'm sure he was just trying to keep it like very casual but ladies are tired of casual like come with f intentions or back off like I just mm. a few days goes by he texts me and at this point like I don't know I don't know the lack of intention already i'm like damn you waited three years and it up <laughs> oh you live and you learn this is honestly where i find my moments of peace and clarity out here by the dumpster <laughs> um i just wanted to talk about hinge for a quick second okay because i feel like the fact that they're slogan is designed to be deleted is probably the most accurate thing that they've ever come up with and not for the reasons you're thinking my who liked you on hinge makes me feel so degraded and disgusted that i have no other choice than but to delete the app not to mention the people that are on hinge truly are some of the worst people i've ever met in my entire life and why is every man's love language physical touch, but they're still figuring out their dating goals? Like, instead of banning TikTok, we need to ban the real problem in this generation, which is Hinge. That's the real app that needs to be banned. I'm going to create an app that breaks my hand anytime I try to open Hinge. Dating is so annoying. First date boy from the other day asked me if I wanted to go on a hike today after he got done with work because I'm off from work. He gets off like early afternoon. It's going to be like 50s, sunny today. Like we should go on a hike. And I'm like, okay, yeah, like that sounds nice. Let's do it. So time comes, he gets off work. He texts me that he's home. I'm like, okay, cool. Um, and he's like, yeah, if you, um, if you need a rain check, like that's okay. And I'm like, what is this man talking about? Like, I had not been, like, weird or flaky about going, not going, being busy, or, like, saying, oh, I'm doing this and this and this, like, to make him think that I was busy, like, nothing. Like, no indicators that I did not want to go. So I thought that was weird. So I was like, okay, like, if you need a rain check, that's okay. Like, if you have other stuff going on. And he was like, no, like, I don't have anything else going on. Um, I just looked and it's going to be like a 40 minute drive right now. And I just figured, you know, like for like daylight purposes, like maybe we should just like rain check this. So I'm like, okay, 
that's fine. And he's like, but do you want to like do something else? No, I don't. Is that weird? Like, that's so weird. Like, it would have been different for me if he was like, hey, like, you know, I've really been thinking about it and I think maybe we should do this on like a Saturday or a Sunday, like earlier in the day. Do you want to do dinner tonight? Do you want to like, do you want to do something else? Like, I'm thinking we should do something else today. Like, f like phrased it that way. But he like phrased it as like, like do you want to rain check this? And I was like, what are you talking about? Does this make sense? Am I just like, am I annoying? I don't need to know the answer to that. I'm sure there's plenty of men that want to tell me how annoying I am. But I just thought that was so weird. So he was like, do you want to do something else? And I was like, no, like, I'm just going to go to the gym. Like, it's fine. And he was like, oh, like, I'm sorry, like, for bailing on you. Like, I really want to see you again. Obviously not, not enough. Obviously not really. I don't know. I'm over it. I'm really over it. I'm not going on any more dates anytime soon. No, 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 no. I'm sure you guys have seen all those articles going around about lawsuits against dating apps and how dating apps are essentially just totally ineffective. People are on there and just stay on there and the actual success rates are so low, but then the ones that you hear about is like all you hear. So many of my friends have met their significant others on the dating apps and I'm like, why is that not working for me? Now, I don't think all of them are necessarily compatible. I will say that. But, you know, they're like, oh, you, it's a numbers game. You got to just keep like blah, blah, blah. I think a lot of people like settle for people that like them back and don't want to think deeper on like, okay, is this my forever person? Just like feels good to be loved. And the thought of getting back out there is like, horrible and meeting people naturally is really really tough now but lately and by lately i mean like the last two three years i've been feeling like the dating apps is just like people play it like an actual game the people on there that are actually looking for a relationship i mean i think there's just so few of them i think in general, women are a lot more intentional than men. I think men are on there. And I heard actually a guy say this though. Women are on there for validation to see like who they could get. These are all the people they could get, but that they don't actually want to talk to them. And men are on there kind of like trying to hook up. But if a relationship comes out of it, it's like a plus, but they're not necessarily on there for a relationship. I feel like with women though, like a lot of women are actually on there for a relationship, but it also is an ego boost as well because you, your pool, your dating pool just got so much bigger than just like the people that you're meeting at bars and at work and, and whatnot. And also, I feel like a lot of people aren't working in person anymore. You're not doing as many of those happy hours. You're not like combining friend groups as much. You're just not meeting people naturally as much. So you kind of have to use the dating apps. But then the dating apps just feel like a total fucking trap. <laughs> I'm like, this cannot be, this cannot be it. <laughs> I'm not like stop I'm not gonna stop dating necessarily I'm gonna be open to it still but in terms of like the dating apps I think we're just we're just taking a little step back just a little you know what I mean but I, it's like mentally just draining to be preparing yourself for the dates to be talking to people to you know if a date goes well and they don't follow up you're like what the fuck if the date doesn't go well and like how do you navigate that conversation you know if you're on a date and you're like why am i here or you're on, like i it just the 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 mental space this is taking up it's too much it's too much and i'm not seeing anything from it so we're just we're just gonna put a pin in this maybe revisit in the summer when everything is happy and good again but right now it is just not it if something happens great but i feel like seeking out dating on the dating apps is like the recipe for disappointment and unhappiness i don't know i don't know